Welcome to Tech Hub. Today I am planning to show how to install JBoss Developer Studio and configure in your local so that we can develop any JBoss applications or fields applications. So before the pre-request for this is we need to have Java 1.8 is recommended. So if you can see I have uh, Java 1.8 is is installed in my local so the next step is we need to configure uh, a java home in uh, environment variable right click on my computer go to properties under that select advanced system settings and that you can see under advanced you can able to see the environment variables under that java home i have given c program files java jdk location which is I have installed in my local that location other thing is we need to set the path where it is having the java uh, bin folder we should give okay. then the next step is once it is configured then we are ready to install jpos developer studio the main reason to configure this java home is we are we should able to the select correct java in your run, uh, run time for this uh, any application we are going to implement under the jbal developer studio so i have downloaded it you can download it from here i think yeah so from here we can download jbal developer studio development is purpose this is fuse tooling installation i'm going to in install so that you can implement a uh, fuse integration projects Okay, I have downloaded it and it is in my local now. So this is JBoss Develop Studio integration stack. Uh, without integration stack, also you have another version, but you can uh, use. I'm going to show only the integration stack now. Double click this in your uh, jar file. So sometimes if it is your Java is not selected default, then it might ask you to. Uh, open this program in different uh, format so go to properties and uh, that open with you should able to see this java platform ac library so that it will be open so it is open now for installation so this is the uh, first introduction page click on next and accept the uh, license agreement go 3p1 next and you should able to select uh, installation path where you want to install so I'm going to select under C fuse I'm going to use Jabal Dollar Studio JBoss Developer Studio, Dev Studio, and that select this folder so that it will be installed under this folder. Click on Next. So it will say this directory is already exist. Do you want to install? Or it might be right. Uh, not warning message. Click on Yes. So you can select here default JVM if you want, so that whatever the Java runtime you have selected, the default Java runtime it will select. Otherwise, if you want a specific version, you can select this one. So I'm going to keep Java with default version. Click on next. So he, here it will show even which version it is currently install, installed and what is the um, what bit it is 64 or 32 bit. Click on next. So if you want to add any uh, platform servers, you can add it. I'm not going to add anything as of now. Click on next. So here, what are the features you would like to install? I want JBoss Fuse development. I want process uh, integration. Anyways, little b, I'm going to keep all. So this is integration tools. This is BPM tools and uh, business rules tool. And this is normal Fuse development tools. Click on next. So total it is required 600. Maybe? yeah so 
this is your version you are going to install and you are going to use JVM default JVM this is the installation part this is the summary of yeah. JVM developer studio click on next so that it will be installed in your local it will take around 5 minutes maximum not even not 5 minutes it's less than 5 minutes it will take to install you can see it is finished now click on next and it will ask for if you want to create any shortcut or anything it is for current user by default and by default it will be created under this short shortcut click on next ok and click on run, run this after installation clicking done it will open our jpos developer studio now That's right, I think uh, the first time it will load all the applications, not applications, inside your jars and the by default work location I took here. Yeah. You can see all the jars are loading. So that's it, your JBoss Developer Studio is installed, it is ready for start your development JBoss applications. You can see Fuse integration project, it is ready to create and it has lot of options. If you want to install any software on the update, you can click on software updates. Under that, you can install this other software which is you want to install, like Android development tools, whatever the tools if you want to install you can install under this tool and you can see the version here it is 10.1 and you can see all the features whatever it is installed here thank you that's it for today i hope it will be useful for someone or people please share the videos or subscribe you can see more in the future thank you